Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will be taking a look at our tubes collection. Okay, so I have one, two, three boxes of tubes. They are actually part of my very old collection. So today we'll just be focusing on the sea animals, penguins right here, prehistoric sharks, and different types of sharks right here. So this is going to be exciting. Let's get right into it. All right, firstly, let's take a look at this, which is the Sharks collection, okay? So Tube is basically like the minifigures of um, Safari LTD. So let's get every single figure out from the box and let's have a look at every one of them. All right, so let's have a look. Let's get all the contents out. It is not easy, but we shall have a look together. I think I've got all the different shocks out. So now let's have a look. Let's place all of them very neatly on the table. First one right here. What is this? Let's have a look at this. Hy Hybotus. Is this like a prehistoric shock? Probably, probably we placed this in the wrong box, but this is definitely a shock. As you guys can see, the face looks like a great white shock. And it has like one, two, three, four, four thorns on top of the body, on top of the head. Okay, next, what is this? Most likely a Thrasher Shark because of the long tail. So let's have a look. Yep, that's right, Thrasher Shark. But the body seems to be a little bit too wide and too big for a Thrasher Shark. Next up, let's have a look at this. This one seems to be a Mako Shark, I think. Yep, that's right, a Mako Shark. Pretty nice. This is actually quite um, accurate. This is definitely a whale shark, a mini whale shark. And this one, it's a hammerhead shark, that's for sure. This one, if I'm not wrong, it's a scallop hammerhead shark. Smooth hammerhead, okay, that's pretty cool. I've never heard of this before. This one is definitely a thrasher shark. So just now, we already have one thrasher and here we have another one so we have two thrasher shocks in um the box but this one definitely seems to be more accurate that's for sure this one should be a great white yep that's right great white shock what about this one most likely a zebra shock yep leopard shocks and zebra shocks they are basically the same so you guys should know that the patterns will actually change as they grow. And this one is the tiger shark. Okay. This is the goblin shark, that's for sure. Goblin. Okay. And this one, it should be a sand tiger shark. Not too sure, let's have a look. It's a tiger shark. Is there a sand in front? Nope. And this one, no idea. Grey Reef Shark. Alright. And this, it's a blue shark. Yep, we've got it right. So that's pretty good. This should be a shark ray. Stingray! Okay, stingrays are a kind of shark, I suppose. So that's our first box, which is basically um, the sharks. And there's actually a did you know right here. A Dota shark is one of the most feared of all sea animals. 80% of the 360 species of male of sharks are relatively harmless to humans. That is cool. Next, we have... um. Okay, let's take a look at the penguins. I think the penguins are definitely very, very adorable. So let's pour all the contents out from the box. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look at this one right here. This one is definitely an emperor penguin and a penguin chick. So, very adorable. Oh, the name is right behind. Emperor penguin with baby. So, yep, that's right. We've got it right. And this one, it should be a chin strap penguin because looking at this little stripe across the chin, it should be a chin strap penguin. Yep, that's right. We've got it right. Next. 
This one, I think it's probably an African penguin. Let's have a look. Humboldt penguin, I beg your pardon. African penguin should be the one with some spots on his body. Okay, this one, not too sure. Let's have a look. Swimming penguin, okay, swimming penguin. That's very adorable. So I guess this one is also a swimming penguin. No, it's a sliding penguin. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Swimming penguin as well. All right. It doesn't say the species. It basically says the action. Swimming. And here we have a... What is this? Galapagos penguin right here. Very nice. This one. um, African penguin. Let's have a look. Gen 2 Penguin. Yeah, you have to remember the beak. The beak of the Gen 2 Penguin is actually very bright in color. This is a penguin cheek. Emperor penguin cheek. Baby penguin. That's right. And this one, it's a... I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. A Dali Penguin. I've never heard of it, to be honest with you. Here's another one that looks very much similar in terms of the colors. Soft African penguin. It's weird because South African penguin, from what I remember, is actually quite um, light. I mean, it's quite dark in colors as well. Okay, so now let's have a look at um, the prehistoric sharks. Okay, they are in this box, so we have to get all of them out. That's for sure. If we have time, we can probably take a look at reptiles as well. I've actually brought um, you know, my entire box of tubes right over here so there are more tubes inside we can definitely take a look at all of them since we still have um, time so the first one right here what is this wow this definitely looks very very ferocious and creepy at the same time Astatus. so it's basically like a prehistoric shark and what about this yeah this one is one weird penguin it has this huge thing on top of the head Stead of Cantus. Stead of Cantus. Sounds kind of cool. What about this? Let's have a look. Sacroprion. Alright, which is like a prehistoric shark and it has a rotary blade of teeth. Which looks very, very weird. Yeah, same as this, which is the DM. Uh, this is actually the Halicoprion. Yep, that's right. Next. We have this one which is known as the... Let's have a look. Wow. Scaf... Scapanorhynchus. Scapanorhynchus. Yes, yeah, pretty hard to pronounce all these weird names, but you can see it has a tail which is very long that resembles the tail of a thrasher shark, that's for sure. Okay. And what is this? Another very weird looking shark. And it's known as the of the cantus. Very nice. What about this one? And not a super weird looking uh, shock right here. Cladro salice. Not too sure how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. This is probably the megalodon. Oh, it's a crepto cretocino cretocirinor cretocirinor. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so these are basically our sea animals tubes. Since we have, you know, some time, we can actually take a look at another box, shall we? This is basically the wild tube, wild animals tube that consists of a lot of different wild animals. So, yep, let's have a look at them together. I think it's going to be interesting. So let's get all the wild animals out. It's not easy to get all of them out from the box because the box is actually very small. So it will take you some time to get all of the figures out of the box, that's for sure. Because some of them actually get stuck inside like this. So you have to pull them out like really hard. Just left with one or two more. Well, this, this pack has quite a number of um, figures, I must say. The last one right here. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, the first one right here, it's basically a lion. You guys are extremely familiar with lions, that's for sure. Tiger. Okay, tigers, when fully grown, 
are actually larger than the lion but the lion always seems to be more intimidating i've seen like lions and tigers fight each other and the lions always win i feel yeah i mean of course there will be different cases this is the um silverback gorilla let's let's have a look whether there's actually any, any name written here yeah, there's a name written right below the body elephant okay elephant they are basically the largest land animal and the trunks are actually very very strong they can lift you know three locks up which is very very impressive and here we have um hippopotamus so for hippopotamus i have one pretty cool fact is that hippopotamus actually take actually has taken more lives you know of the humans than the lion and here's a giraffe rhinoceros and a crocodile this one it's a, a camel a black bear i suppose yeah a bear and two last figures we have a zebra and a jaguar so very nice this is basically some of our tubes collection majority of them today are sea animals of course we also have sharks penguins and some wild animals hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and um if you do please let me know because we still have um you know quite a bit of um tubes to show you guys that we still have quite a number of them we have like um reptiles we also have dinosaurs so stay tuned for that okay thanks for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one goodbye